Welcome back to your cruise life. My name is Bree and I'm your cruise guide giving you the ins and outs to cruising. In our previous videos, we helped you choose a destination and narrow down the top ships for 2019. Now it's time to choose the right cabin. The first thing you need to know is the four types of cabins on any cruise ship. Starting with the least expensive, inside cabins have no windows and are the smallest size room. Outside cabins, or ocean view rooms, are the same size or slightly larger than the inside cabins but offer a window or porthole. The next step up is the balcony cabin which features a verdana allowing you to step outside without going to the public deck. Offering a larger space with a separate living and sleeping areas, suites give you access to a wide variety of amenities and perks. What sets the cabins apart are the permutations such as the size, view, location, amenities, and price of the selected cabin. Start noticing what features you are interested in during the video so you can narrow down your options by the time we finish. The location of your stateroom can make you seasick or keep you up at night. Conversely, it can soothe you into a deep sleep and provide you with picture-perfect surroundings. One of the factors you need to consider is stability. Lower cabins more central to the ship, for example, are ideal for those with motion sickness as passengers do not feel the swaying in this area. Another factor to consider is the distance from the features you want to experience. Partiers should choose ships closer to the midship entertainment hubs, while passengers with mobility concerns should choose ships close to the elevators. Noise levels are a big concern among most of my clients. I always tell them to circumvent rooms near the pool deck if you want to avoid loud noises. I recommend the rooms that are in between, that is above and below other cabins. All cabins come with basic amenities like the cabin steward that cleans your room and turns down the bed, soap and shampoo in the bathroom, and individual climate control. Certain categories of state rooms, however, come with added perks. Suites come with priority boarding, a minibar, and a variety of extras that vary by ship. On the other hand, spa-level cabins provide yoga mats or a fancy shower head. Then there are concierge-level cabins that give you access to concierge services and niceties like an exquisite meal. Solo travelers have access to special state rooms that offer extras like an exclusive lounge. How much space do you need? Do you want an outdoor area? Typically, those of you who want to avoid the crowds on the sun deck should opt for an outdoor space in your room. Also, pay attention to the unique cabin setup on your ship. They're not all created equal. Are you traveling with kids? Check out the family accommodations that are built into the rooms on the newer ships. Ships also took solo travelers into consideration as well. Check out Norwegian Cruise Lines where some of the ships have studio cabins. Just compare the price of the solo cabin to the standard cabin with the supplement rate to see if it's a better deal. Call us for more details on solo rates. Finally, for those of you who want extra space, I recommend looking into the suite options. Keep in mind that suites are super expensive. Many clients are shocked to find out how much these staterooms actually cost. I booked some suites during my girls' trips though, and the extra space does come in handy when everyone needs to get ready at the same time. The cabin's location plays a big part in the quality of your view. Consider the direction your room faces as well as how the ship's structure may get in your way. Aft-facing balconies are at the very back of the ship and offer 180-degree views over the stem's wake. Promenade cabins are available on older ships with windows looking out into the open-air walking track that encircles the ship. These cabins offer easy access to fresh air without paying for a balcony. Some ocean view cabins have blocked views due to the ship's design. These obstructed view cabins are sold as obstructed ocean or obstructed balconies, so you are getting a good deal if you don't care about the blocked view. Look into interior facing cabins that offer views of the main parts of the ship or a virtual balcony. The advantage of these cabins is that you can see what featured activities are going on without leaving your room. Last but not least, there are cabins that offer scenic views or no views at all. Call us for details on any of these categories. So now that you have an idea of what you like, it's time to figure out what features fit inside your budget. This is where we come in. Our team will work with your budget and make sure you're getting a bang for your buck. Give us a call so we can help you create your dream room and save some money along the way. Thank you so much for watching our video and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell to be notified and check out our blog link below. Safe travels!